this is an axe. I say this for the information of those of you whose television tubes may have burned out. I wish to reach the widest possible audience. <laughs> Now, back to our program. Uh-oh, I might get a spanking for this. Reginald Bundy, a critic for the Times. You know, I get so few chances to see films with the public. This time I want to watch a film exactly as the people do. So, uh, if you don't mind... <laughs> Okay, so not due to anyone or anything in particular, I ended up picking up off of eBay a Chipson. And the reason being is, kind of wonder how these things are. You know, I've seen a lot of videos where people had good luck, people had bad luck, and these were a fucking total disaster. So I kind of want to see for myself what this thing is going to be like. You know, how hard is it going to be to set up, if there's any problems with it, or the above now this was picked up off of ebay so this did not go through any aliexpress or anything like that and it made it through customs now i told them when i saw the pictures of this uh they kind of like hide the hide hid hide whatever you want to call it the headstock a little bit and you couldn't see the logos that were on the headstock now this is supposed to have wannabe grover tuners which uh, i did a video on fake grover tuners a long time ago that came from china and i'm expecting this to have the same thing so not knowing what's on the headstock i told these guys i wanted my name on the headstock not any uh gibson logos or anything else i'm not trying to promote any type of forgery or fake electric guitars so let me get my razor out and cut this thing open I'm sure it's going to be a mess all over this little workshop, and we'll see what it is. All right, so let's get this thing open. My sharp razor blade. Slice into this, not too deep. Is that a fart? I don't know. I can taste it. I'm a tongue. Okay, I, I'll be honest with you. I did fart. Is that onion? Onion and onion and ketchup. It stinks. This is a small room. Oh, shit. All right. So let me get this fucking potato sack out of the way. Let's open up this uh, top. Hello, boy. Now, what do you say? Let's make with the popcorn right away. Too much trouble and bother. Yes, indeed. No, man. Heat's all you need. You need more than heat, boy. According to Hoyle, you need popcorn, salt, butter, and oil. And a frying pan, or to be completely proper, you ought to have a popper. I dig it. You ain't hip, old man. To easy pop pop in its own pan. You mean easy pop pop in its own pan? see what she is if she's anything at all I don't see nothing on the headstock just yet first off the weight is pretty decent on this thing it's, it's pretty heavy this is supposed to be a full mahogany body all right you got your little patch cord here uh-oh oh, oh. 
All right, guys. This is a very gorgeous guitar, number one, all right? Even though it is what it is from China, and hopefully I said this earlier, um, it's a very nice guitar. Now, first thing I noticed with this is the the Grover tuners may be real Grovers. The fake Grover tuners had, I believe, a point where there's a little black circle, a little black dome that was on the other side of your tuning key. And on the fake ones, I believe that came to a point instead of being rounded. These are rounded. Maybe they fixed that, they're still fake, but who knows. So, I gotta say it's got a beautiful headstock on it. God damn, they really went, oh man. All right, you guys be the judge of it. Fuck it, get this goddamn thing out of here. Like I said, I do not promote fake guitars from China, but I was curious about this guitar. This is why I purchased it. All right, first off, this is the body. This is a true flame maple, not a, a veneer. You see, there might be a little bit of glue right there where they left it. This is the back, binding on both sides. It has a few scuff marks in it, to be expected. Something would be wrong. Mahogany body, mahogany neck. And this is the part where I don't like. Right there, it says Gibson. Also, serial number, made in USA. Now, pickups are all lined up where they're supposed to be, and I have to say, even though this is a fake, it is in a lot better condition as far as the way it was buffed, how it was buffed, than the actual Gibson that I have. The neck looks like the strings line up pretty good on the neck, no problem. The neck is not twisted in any way or form. Action height at the first fret on the low E string, it's, it, the low E string is pretty good on the action height, but it's kind of high here, and it's high on the, the high E. Plastic nut, this is a Les Paul Custom, it says. No, it's not a Gibson. Please. All in all, this thing is a pretty sharp guitar, and I will go into more of this guitar a little bit later. Now, on Gibson, right here, when you feel the binding, you can actually feel a bump out where the wood is. This is smooth all the way down. It's level. And I believe this is supposed to be more of a curve, not so much of a point. Volume and tones feel all right, but I'm going to replace these pickups, and I'm going to replace the electronics. Now the pitch of the neck, action height, doesn't look to be too bad as far as, uh, but the bridge is pretty high. Comes with a tuna manic, I'll probably put a roller on there, and I'm going to put a bone nut on here. So I have to say, all in all, it's a pretty sharp guitar. It's a blue burst, which it's darker here and then starts fading out a little bit more. They did a nice job. The finish on this thing is a hell of a lot better than the finish that is on my Gibson. As far as the buffing goes, there's a few scratches here or there. I don't see any imperfections around the binding at all. Now there is a heel joint right here and there is a scarf joint up on the neck I could see that 
and these are fake rovers the yeah these are fake rovers there's pitting on the chrome plating the lettering you can kind of make it out pretty good but there's a lot of pitting on the, on the chrome plating and there's no issues with the neck pocket no cracking looks like it's fitted pretty well and there's no issues with the binding that's on the back of it so there's some scuffing on here a little bit that I can take care of real easily not a big deal now this is supposed to be a one piece body this is not supposed to be three pieces four pieces it's a one piece mahogany body and it looks like it is including the sides looks like right here it's got some glue right there So, all in all, it's not bad. 200 bucks on eBay. The frets feel pretty good. The fret ends are pretty nice. They're not sharp at all. They actually feel pretty good. Um, right now, as far as relief goes, there isn't any relief in the neck, so I'll have to put some in there. The binding on the neck feels pretty good. It does not feel like it's like a sharp edge on the side, so 